I'm here at Wigan Wanda's um, on Bank Street in Ottawa and I'm here with Julie Winston, an erotic artist. And we're here to talk about some sex toys. So what do we have here? What's special about the introduce me? I have no idea. So. Okay, sure. So uh, these are actually uh, a special line that's exclusive to Wicked Wanda. So these are some just more basic, uh, playful. You might want to get into a little bit of sort of bondage situations. We've got some uh, basic cups here. So those ones are good and secure. You got a nice little buckle there. You can cuff the hands and then you could cut them together or into the bed or whatever you want to do. You can be creative with that. A couple of little different collars. Some people like to put a collar on and it sort of makes them uh, get into like a, a different character or a different mood. Um, so looks good for role playing if you want to do a little dominance and submission. Um, these are just a couple other collars like a little more hardcore with a bigger right. chain. You could lead somebody around with a leash if you wanted to. That gets in a you've got little holes in it. <laughs> you can get all different kinds of things, different colors. You can have them uh, custom colors as well if you wanted to do something different like that. Oh, wow. And then uh, a couple of different paddles. Here's just a, this a little beginner paddle. <laughs> you want to just do a little, uh, this one's solid oak, um, so they've got some nice really really nice quality solid wood um, yeah. and again these are like locally produced uh, that one you want to get a little bit more uh, action you've got this guy here it's really light um, again you can like this type of play always start really really slow with people mm -hmm. but um, you know you got to make sure that you get proper consent and then you got a safe word when you're using things like this Okay. Um, this one is their Canadian style, so uh, <laughs> we've got the, uh, you know, for people who like hockey. It's perfect. I think exactly. That's the season, but <laughs> exactly. Celebrate. Okay, so we have our own uh, exclusive corset line here. Um, these are all real corsets. So a real corset is a steel bone corset now. They used to be lined with, uh, they used to have like ivory, um, but now we use steel. Um, so there's uh, numerous different styles, like every color you know imaginable that you can get and the different materials. Um, now, some of them are reversible, like this one here is reversible. You can get different clasps. Um, as well. Now the corsets we have, uh, some of them are actually for waist training. So there's some people that will change the really? physical like shape of their bodies with their corsets by wearing them every day. Um, most of ours are more sort of decorative and for special occasions and things like that. But we find that there's a lot of women that like to just wear corsets in their like daily lives now. So they wear them to work. They wear them underneath. Uh, you know, their their clothes with their like nice business shirt underneath, and then the corset and the jacket on top. And it's super classy, actually. It's super classy. So the Wee Vibe, that's one of the sort of most popular uh, toys around, especially for, well, for couples, because it is specifically designed as a couple's toy, and it's also designed locally, like the company is a local, uh, from a local guy. Uh, so this is the new version, the Wee Vibe 3, which actually has a remote control. The original one, you just had a, you just had a button on the top. The remote control gives your partner control over um, the settings, so it's kind of, it's kind of fun, and you don't have to, take it out to change the setting. So that's a very good benefit. Um, again, this is a super popular couples toy. It gives both partners um, stimulation and can be used in all different positions. Now, the Hitachi Magic Wand is like the ultimate sex toy that was not designed to be a sex toy originally. <laughs> so it is a massager. Um, oh wow! A personal massager designed in Japan, um, which very quickly became super popular in 
porn, um, but what it's known as really is the forced orgasm toy. <laughs> because when you plug this guy in, like it's not like any vibrator you've ever tried. It doesn't run on batteries. It plugs into the wall and it's got two speeds basically. And the speeds are like crazy and and out of this world. <laughs> like the second, the second one, there are screaming, you know, the screaming usually involved with this guy. Um, yeah, so Hitachi Magic Wand is another one of our like major, we popular toys. For people that are shy. Impossible, right? Cannot imagine. It's not impossible. <laughs> it's not impossible. But you think. It's all the great All right, it's for male students. What's out there for them? All right, so for men, I mean, a lot of men are a little bit, they don't want to approach the idea of sex toys. They think that maybe it's going to be some kind of like replacement for, yeah. for them and um, or that they're not, you know, they can't do their job enough. So so they need, so women need a sex toy. Well, that's not the case at all. The sex toys are meant to enhance the situation. Um, women have all different uh, ways and men have all different ways that um, they can uh, come to orgasm. Um, men, Typically come in they might they might say something like oh, I, I want to be able to maybe just maintain my erection for a little bit longer or um, You know just uh, be a lot of men think that there's a situation where they're gonna be able to like Increase their penis size and things like that What we always recommend are cock rings and cock rings are good for any man like it not It's not just a situation where you're having trouble with erections or anything like that cock rings uh, can enhance uh, sexual situations for most men. Um, so we have some basic ones or just silicone, little silicone rings. Um, what they do is they just keep everything tight so that like all of the blood is staying in the penis. Um, there's even, these ones are the ones I recommend for people to just try like the first time if you want to try something like that out because it's got a vibrator in it so it's fun for the ladies as well. Nice. Um, there's this, like disposable vibrating ones. This one you can actually change the battery in it, but it's called the Screaming O, and it's got different speeds. But nice. uh, Very nice. yeah, again, these <laughs> when I first tried one of these, I was like, oh, I had no idea. Like that could be so fun, especially for women who like vibration to begin with. Like we're like vibrators. You're just turning the man's penis into, into a, a vibrator penis. as well. So that can be extra fun. Um, and then some men will like to have like a more permanent solution, which would be something like a leather strap or a metal strap. Um, and again, I recommend those for all, like for all men, for sure. Um, and then we've got a you know plethora of different um, toys available for anal play. So those are uh, sort of all on the back wall here. We have everything from beginner to. Uh, expert, expert, expert. expert. <laughs> exactly. And again, you know, like. I know that people are sometimes gonna be shy about things like that, but like everybody again in the store is super comfortable with all of these different toys and have used them and um, and know what's gonna be the best for your situation if you just come in and explain it. Mm -hmm. um, I like the pink one. 